Good morning, it's time to travel. Can you guess where I'm heading now? <laughs> all dressed, linen, comfort. It's all about traveling in comfort sneakers. Heading to the airport by train now. See you along the travels. Now this is how you start your day. I'm getting ready to travel. Dressed all light in linen and ready to rock and roll. Can you guess where I'm headed next? Not even a purse. This is all I'm traveling with. <laughs> Sneakers. Say good morning. Stop. See, I'm ready to travel. We're going to the train station. Dun, dun, dun. And I say, it's all right. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, I'm singing. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. And the sun's coming up and we're going that way. Da -na -na -na. You gotta be careful not to get hit by vehicles. Do -do 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 -do. Making our way to the train station, basically. Direct train to the airport. You said T4, right? It's like a T. So, this is a big supermarket. Eric was just telling me, he said, if you can't find it here, this big building on the right, you can't find it here, you won't be able to find it anywhere. <laughs> That's crazy. But there are places like that all over the world, you know? And that's what I loved about being in, in Europe and living in Italy. It's like people don't um, appreciate those small little Mercatino stores you know, where they have everything that you could ever need. Whereas you got Home Depot and Lowe's and half the time you go in and they're like, I'm sorry, we don't have it. You're gonna have to go find that somewhere else. You don't want to put the mom and pop businesses out. Look how the, the landscaping is around that. It's kind of pretty. I bet it's really pretty in the spring and, and probably soon because you got the vines dying off. This is the back of that building, by the way. This whole built box, this big box is, if I say a box, it's enormous. It's just the same same building? That's crazy it's huge. Old. Yeah, that's the back of the building. He calls it the Ypres Corte. If you can't find it there, you won't find it anywhere. And here we are at the train station. Everything within walking distance, nice and convenient. Love it. And we're here. The morning smell of coffee. I think he's getting a ticket. Yeah, everything automated, very simple. Easy to get around. Let's see how that works. So you just you getting another ticket? No, I'm using mine. Oh, you have an extra you put in. I gave you it up. one of those. Yeah. Right. So put it in here. See. Okay. to go through and select your destination. So you want to get the ticket charged for the day that okay. you're actually traveling, not right. um, not on the same day because he's doing the return because you, it's only good for 24 hours. Whereas when I return on Monday, Where's the airport? I'm going to want to come oh, back. There we go. Airport. There's air airport though, T4. All right. Okay. One. Super cheap. Metallico. Metallico is just change. Okay. Coinage. Cool. I'm charging my ticket. I'm learning how to... Every every country has theirs. And then just take it. You wait until it, it's charging it now. You see the little beep beep? No. Nope. Now you can do it. Okay. Right. Thank you for your travels. Okay. Let's move it. Okay, now, so we're taking C1. When you C1. come back, you're going to come back through this tunnel. 
So I'll end up coming out of there. Okay. You're going to See, end up I'm on that platform. Come down. Because it'd be on the other side coming back. Gotcha. Oh, cool. Go ahead and um, make sure this point's this way. Over there. Because, uh, the stairs of the airport are Okay. So that's why we're going to this a little bit more to this direction. Instead of going back down that, that would be the end. I'm all about convenience, so you tell me and I, I follow. Ease and grace, baby. I, I even got a bigger seat on my plane because it's three hours. And here's our train. Now push the button. Let people off. Let Eric take your luggage. Thank you, Eric. We call this a day of no makeup. No, I probably put a little bit on when I go to the airport. Still a little puffy, but that's what happens in the mornings. It just kind of dissipates. By the reflection of the window, you can see there's a lot of construction going on in New Jersey. Everywhere we've gone, there's something underway. They're expanding the transportation lines and making it so that you have nicer smooth walk-in spaces taking out a lot of the traffic like the uh the noise of the cars and everything else but at the same time you do have the noise of the people Going up. So cool. Big train station. Madrid's such an old city too. Madrid already had a good transportation system to begin with. It's just it continually improves upon it, which is fascinating because I swear we can learn from all this. You know, those who established it are always improving upon it. Typically. That's the mindset. So we got the metro. When I charge my ticket for the train. It's enormous. It's ginormous. Wow. Check that out. Look at that. That is fascinating. I told you, I'm always looking up. And I always get a different perspective when I do that. I always get really cool. Look up, that's so cool. That is so cool the way that the up is the architecture. Wait to see we get it the mains. Find out where am I where I'm going. You got all sorts of help too. Huh? You got all sorts of help. Desks and all that. Transportation help. The card. The trail the trams and moving walk a -laters. You can always take the elevators or you can do this. Yeah. And you can keep moving. Well, and you can keep moving. I like to keep moving. You sit on the plane for long enough as it is. That's why I'm wearing my sneakers. Comfy shoes always. Let's see what we got here. More of this yellow. <laughs> Yellow's a happy color. Yellow's the color of the solar plexus. Yellow is the color of willpower, the seat of your will, what you're going to bring into the world. And you need a strong, 
strong solar plexus. You need a strong abdominal core. We have to keep going up. So we're going to Iberia. It's wild. Crazy, crazy. Just when you thought you were done, you still got one more road up. <laughs> three step, three floors. So we have to go to the top floor for check-in. Let's see, am I seeing anything? This is pretty, pretty well designed. I'm really impressed with this airport. It's probably one of the better airports I've ever seen. I, you can get lost in here technically. Look at all this. That, the architecture of the roof is really cool. Fascinating. All right. Now let's find the airport. These places need to be banned though. There's nothing good about them. Junk food. Let's try some real food. No more processed junk. Okay, there's Iberia. All right, 850 to 859 is the check-in. Even though I'm already checked in, I'm gonna go check and see if they got any goodies for me. They said if I check my bag, I can get priority access, whatever you call it, but I'm not checking my bag, so. Let me see if I can still get the priority. 850, 851. Mm -hmm. This is where I have it. Okay, let's go check it out. Cool art. Okay, I'm going to take a picture. That's the cool thing about the video. Yeah. The access to take a picture. Alright, I'm going to say goodbye to Eric after I gotta get in that long ass security line. I don't know how long it is. Apparently I don't have fast track on this one, but normally I do. I'll have to check on that on the way back. But I'm here with more than two hours. Actually, I've got exactly two hours to control security until my flight. So... Here we go. All these LEDs are really bad for your eyes, by the way, and you wonder why they flicker with these cameras. They're not, because they're sending out a signal. There, there is a programming in these, these lights, if you don't know about it. See how that moves? That was super cool. All scanning, all barcode, all digital. Sometimes it's a good thing for convenience, and sometimes I'm not so crazy about it. See that ceiling? It's all beautiful wood. So I didn't even need my passport or my ID card or anything. I just needed to scan my phone with the information, the barcode. So now I'm gonna, this is moving really quick too. They got a ton of security, which, are we still doing this really? Come on people, can we go back to real life? Oh my God, I'm sorry. I do love to travel. It's just, these are the things that have not made it so fun. I made this really easy. All I got. And my carry on. No purse, so much easier. And this is my little crossbody when I was in Venice, if you noticed. I got two of those. So cool. It's so funny to see your bag x rays. Okay, now I'm going to the lounge. Yeah. I'm going to go relax and get me a cappuccino. Yeah, this is cool. This is a lot of. I just passed by more duty free back there. It's kind of wild the way the lights are. It's like saucers over your head. Oh my gosh, Starbucks has infiltrated all over the place, hasn't it? So I'm going to the lounge, which is all the way down at the end of this hall. That is one big Starbucks taking over Madrid. That's crazy. For me, I'll take my Italian coffee any day. When you've had good coffee, you just can't have the crap. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Yeah. Don't, don't sacrifice your experiences for cheap. Don't be cheap and easy. Don't be a pushover. Enjoy your life and what brings you joy because that radiates out and ripples in the world and others feel that and you give them permission to do the same and that's what we need to do to uplift this world. So here we are, Mike. Here we are. Bye.
fresh squeezed orange juice, pineapples. There's melons over there, but I don't like mixing my melons. You're not supposed to mix them with everything else. Oh good, I have the, all the flight information over my head. They have wands if you're a connoisseur. Mm -hmm. Juices and yogurts and sandwiches and a lot of gluten. Cappuccino time, and then I'm catching my flag. Cheers. Here's to my next adventure at the trails and on my way. Mm. First, you gotta have a good cappuccino to start your day. Oh, and did I mention that's one fine cappuccino? I realized I was trying to rush over there too early because they're supposed to start boarding at 10.55. So we're on our way. A little confusing because it's beach 8, so I didn't realize it says last call. Hopefully I'm okay. I'm sure I am. Flight doesn't uh, leave until 11.25. So, yeah, I'm not here for shopping for sure. I grabbed a couple yogurts for the way. Should have grabbed a water. That's the only thing I forgot. And the cappuccino was really good, by the way. Moving on up, moving on up. <laughs> and then you can no problems. Hey y'all, Spanish got some issues here. Mascarina? Mask? Mask? Give me a fucking break, really? You're still playing these games? I don't comply. This is bullshit. I'll wear it on my chin. You know? You gotta wear it, but please. It's, it cuts off your life support. Like, really, literally, that is... That's evil. And people comply because they don't want to get in trouble. It's out of fear, not rational mind. Because fear makes you think irrationally. And when you're emotional, which is how they get you, you are irrational. Get more realistic, people. We, if we don't start standing up together, then we will just continue to be cattle called and sheep following to our slaughter. This is the kind of thing that makes people angry and act out too. This, this is not cool.
Big mound off in the distance past the way. I'm glad I'm not in a rush, but I'm also glad I didn't check my bag. And I'm gonna get some water, use the bathroom, and check on my frequent flyer miles because I didn't actually. Sit. I wasn't sure if I had Club Iberia, so I have to double check that. Things have you seen in the ground? How many do you think ended up in the ocean? That's not saving anyone. Okay. Alright, I'm looking for the bathroom first. And then the exit. So here we are. And there we are. It's always a shopping spot, right? Bathroom smells decent too. Oh, look at this. I'm here! So, I'm supposed to have someone pick me up, I think, at 2 o'clock. And I'm just gonna have to double check on where the location is. But I think the driver's supposed to have a sign. So, we'll see. We'll see if this is up here. Oh, there's a sign. Flyer miles are such a confusion. I, over the years, used to have tons of them, and I used to have lots of points racked up with American Express. Um, but anyway, I was trying to sort out the Iberia Express, and I didn't know Iberia is different than Iberia Express, and so this is a lot of confusion. Their website's really confusing, confusing. and even Eric, who speaks, speaks Spanish, was like, I can't figure it out. And we're both IT people, so we were laughing last night, but not in a good way. He said, you know, I said, if I can't figure it out, then you know other people have problems. Because both of us being IT geeks, we're both like, no, there's, there's issues there. So I am going to go see if I can locate some of my other retreat sisters and um, find our, our driver because we're supposed to be picked up in about 10 minutes. If I don't video very much for this next leg of the trip, don't be surprised. We might be more private. I don't want to be imposing on other people's privacy as well. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, we're all together. And we've got a driver. <laughs> I love it. It's hot and some of us are really, really hungry and want to jump in the water too. Now these are the rolling hills and mountains of Tenerife with some com commerce sprinkled in. <laughs> and electric poles. See, that's 
better than graffiti. Rock art. I love it. <laughs> you gotta get creative, like, yeah. you know? Nature, nature's your first artist, first off. We, we get inspired by nature, so, you know. It's a monkey park. from where we were and the driving is incre impressive of course like I said I like being a passenger for once in a while although I wouldn't have had a problem driving it either oh my gosh that's so cool that's a drop higher up before oh that's so neat see where we're going all the caves Amazing driver. <laughs> so I have to show you just the little place that I'm staying in. I have two roommates and look at this. It's a little apartment and we have our own little kitchenette kind of area, a little space with a nice seating area. Look at that view down into the valley. Absolutely gorgeous. And my roomies are down there, and I have this room here. We all have our own bathroom. And look at how it's de the decor is. It's just so natural and just ah, fresh. And I love this with the wood going across. And then underneath is a platform 
area. I just took all my stuff out. So, and then the barn door to the bathroom. You have your little toilet over here. Peeking out at some cacti. And then over here, you have an open shower. Really lovely. I really like this. Hello. So even though there's two beds in there, it's just me. And these are really sweet. This is so soft. Oh, I love natural fibers. Fabric, so important against your skin. So yeah, this is where I'll be spending the next five days. And then there's a nice little pool area out here. But let me show you this amazing view. Look what it looks down into. This is so wild. Like seriously wild. Incredible. And then all this, I think this is the India, the, the prickly pear. There are some fiki, like they call them figs of India in Italian, but uh, yeah, this is beautiful. And then over there in the distance, you can probably see the pool. I'm actually gonna walk over that way. Absolutely lovely. I'm already in heaven. It's a nice little oasis, hidden spot. And there's a nice Papa Sun chair over here. Oh, so lovely. So, I did tell the ladies when we arrived, if you have any issues with the camera, let me know. Oh, look, Plumeria. Oh, this is viney. Oh, you know what I want to show you? This is super cool. Look at this. I don't know what this is, but it looks similar to a mango, and it's coming off of this vine. I don't know what, but it's really cool. Yeah, I'm here to explore. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, look at this plumeria. Frangipan is the other name for it. They smell amazing. I'm going to go over here and get me some sniff on. It's a little hot, so when it's hotter, it's a lot less fragrant. Whereas in the night, they're much stronger. So look at the pool, nice. I hear, I hear familiar laughs that I'm gonna go find. So beautiful. Mm. I'm hungry actually. I'm gonna see if they get some food. So this looks like the eating area outside. <laughs> Hello! Look at this beautiful puppy. We have guests. He's a guest, or the host, I should say, puppy host. Hi, puppy. And you and sweet love. Look at the beautiful Brindle. You are so handsome. Look at you. Oh, you are too cute. You are so beautiful. Are you the guard doggy? You watch out for all the ladies? Yeah. I'm so handsome. Yeah. You get the ears. He's so beautiful. Mm, we're snacking on some snackies. All of us have a little bit of a little hungry belly. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're so handsome. <laughs> okay, I am going to go back to the room. Let me go over here real quick. Check this out. I'm going to put some shorts on. Maybe even put my bathing suit on, actually. Could use a dip. And I could use some sunshine. So this is where the Papa Sun is. If you look up, <laughs> in fact, I'll show you up where I'm talking about. Over here, there is a cloud descent. And even if, if one of the ladies was saying that uh, it doesn't ever come down here, but we're getting this amazing fresh breeze. So this is the way to my home away from home for the next five days fabulous fantastic i'm loving this mm, 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 mm. portulaca there's a lot of stuff here that i it grows in my house incredible absolutely incredible and here we are and this is my room Bathing suit time. I need a little sunshine. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little bit more too. Peppers, uh, and I think smoked paprika also has a little spicing. Then the second one, the yellow one, is the curcuma one. 
It's like turmeric. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is just a classy hummus. Wow. <laughs> so the third Paleo the bread third magic. magic. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second four weeks. Okay, now I'm seeing dragonflies. I saw a dragonfly in the back of a woman's shirt coming off the airplane. And now this beauty. Look at the pretty colors. Reds, yellows on those wings. Oh, you're so pretty. Dragonflies are beautiful. This is such a peaceful, sweet space. Are you a happy dragonfly? <laughs> so we just did a beautiful movement, just free flowing and just setting the space for this beautiful retreat. And now we're gonna have dinner. I just took a quick shower. Ah, hmm, beautiful, gorgeous ladies. And this is a treat for me. So this is dessert <laughs> after a delicious meal with all these beautiful ladies. Everyone say hi for my vlog. All these beautiful ladies I get to spend all this time with for five days. So this is just random, but we got dessert. It's called just dessert. It's just random. I wanted to show you what we have in this beautiful goodie bag. This is a personalized letter from Elaine for me. A feather, go figure. How ironic, right? This is Wolf Moon. It's an essential oil with a, what appears to me to be a citrine stone. And Olivine is the maker of the oil. We also have a recipe card for matcha curry, as well as the milk, the nut milk. And then there's this cleansing. You're supposed to hydrate your skin for your, this is for your skin. We'll probably do a special session tomorrow using the gua sha. And this gua sha is made from lava. You hear that? It's pretty heavy duty and it comes with its own little bag. So it just slides on in here. Yeah, so that is my goodie bag. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to say goodnight. Oh, I'm so tired. Sleepies and I was fed well. Really grateful to be here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. People, places, things, everything in between. See you tomorrow. Good night and sweet dreams.